Hi, this is the first in a series of videos from Informed Choice Limited in support of Financial Planning Week. I'm Nick Bamford, Executive Director at Informed Choice. And I'm Andrew Nelligan, Financial Planning Director. The first subject we want to talk about is uh, for those of you out there who are uh, best described, I guess, is young, free and single. Seems a long time ago for me. What <laughs> things should they be considering, Andrew? Well, because I'm near that age group, I would say, uh, first of all, think about having a budget. Um, you uh, might well have been lucky enough to get through uh, any debts. If you haven't, that'd be the first thing to think about. Repay any debt you have. Um, university loans, perhaps, car loans. Once you get rid of those, and you can start thinking about budgeting and using your disposable income in a way that's going to help you plan for the future. So is it right to pay off debt? I mean, surely with interest rates so low, they might just as well keep, keep the debt, maybe if it was from university fees or something. Depends on the rate you're getting. Um, student loans are typically uh, much lower, but I think it's always a good way to start off with a, a clean slate and, and have no debt. Uh, if you think about your mortgage, which is much more longer term debt uh, and a very low rate of interest, you might then prefer to have your money working harder. Right. But typically with loans, would say that the risk that you need to take to get investment returns over and above what you're paying in terms of an uh, interest repayment loan, it's often too much to uh, make well, they, it They ought to be saving for retirement though, shouldn't they? Because didn't I read the other week that it's like one in four people under 35 is young, free and single types. <laughs> the, the sooner you can Do start, the saying. better. Um, and that's where the, the budgeting can come in and if you understand what your goals are and what you're look, looking to achieve, then you can determine, well, if you're going to put some of your spare disposable income towards retirement planning and some to building up an emergency fund, which is another important aspect, and you can decide then what your priorities are, but certainly the sooner you start to, to plan for retirement, the better. So this, the emergency fund thing, what's that about? The emergency fund is the idea that if you're out of work due to sickness or an accident, um, and you have expenditures that will continue to be taken, utility costs, mortgage payments for example, you've got somewhere that you can go and call upon um, readily available. Right. So okay. we, we typically have a rule of thumb that three to six months worth of readily available expenditure uh, right. in a cash account, not so somewhere you're going to spend it. So let's sort of sum that up then, so you're saying that, that they should budget, they should pay Absolutely. off debt, they should build up an emergency fund, and after they've done those three things, start sort of looking to the future. Absolutely. Well, there you have it. Not so young, free and single now, are you? 